Hello YouTube and welcome to another short tax loss video. I got here the brand new Motorola Moto G third generation smartphone. Yes, the device was just announced on Tuesday, but I got already my delivery from Amazon Germany. It's just the small version with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of storage. The bigger version with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage is not just available here in Germany. But because of the brand new Snapdragon 410 CPU, we got all devices got now 4G LTE. We got a micro SIM card slot. It's not the dual SIM version. You can see this. We got only one connection bar here. Uh, I don't know if there will be a dual SIM version here in Germany. Uh, we got the big battery. Of course, we got just, just one battery, which is not removable. I can't believe it. But we got a bigger battery capacity, around 400 milliampere hours more than on the previous second generation Moto G. And of course, we got a, a micro SD card slot. You notice we got a new design, a brand new color on the package here, but no more information. And it's a small package. We have to give them that. Let's open it up and whoop, we open it uh, this way and there you can already see the device and it's just just a five inch device but this looks huge. Maybe it's just because of the small package and you can now can see in relation a huge phone. So let's get it out there and uh, whoo. Something is def definitely different about this back cover here but first of all let's have a look inside of the package. What do we, what else do we get with the phone? Uh, we got not much. And I have to say with the earlier versions, with the first generation and second generation Moto G devices, I had no problems with this because of the low price. But the third generation got a high price of around 230 euros for the small version. The big version costs around 50 euros more and this is huge. And for this, you can't, you can't, don't get much stuff with your phone. And what else is? I got a black phone. And what do I get? I get a white USB to micro USB cable. Arc. Why don't I get the black cable with a black phone? So what else is in the box? Not much. Only a bunch of papers. We got to read more starter guide here, and one in French and one in, Ita on it in Italian. And we got some uh, security for insurance or whatever. Just get your, don't drop it and do all the recycling with the device. No, no one cares. So we got this README first instructions and they are in German. But this is, uh, I don't care because I am German. I know German, so <laughs> I have no problem with that. But you can already see the device comes with a nice starter guide. You got big pictures, you got some words here written and you have to know, get to know or you get instruction how to open the back cover, how to insert your micro SIM card, just one, so definitely no dual SIM version here, how to insert your micro SD card if you want to, then how to, to set up the device, how to connect it to Google, uh, the Motorola Migrate program is uh, explained, the home screen is explained, uh, volume bars, uh, uh, discover the Moto apps, how to take pictures, how to get navigate in Google Maps, uh, how to check your emails again with Google <laughs> Gmail and some more information. So this is it. This is everything. This is in, in the box. No stickers, no wall charger, no headphones. And I have to say for this price, this is just not enough. Sorry Motorola. I really like it but with the third generation the price is just too high. So another sticker on the back side for, for instructions on how to remove the back cover. And one thing this is really nice, uh, the device got IPX7. So no protection against dust, but the 7 at the end means you can uh, drop your phone into water, leave it there up to, one, uh, up to 30 minutes and not deeper than one meter and the device should be fine. We got 4G LTE, we got a new brand new 13 megapixel camera on the back side, which should be close to be the same than on the Nexus 6 device. So this should be huge. I really hope this device will take nice pictures. And we got a 5 megapixel camera on the front side, which is also new. We got the big battery, we got the SD card slot and we got a quad core. Of course we got a quad core. We always got a quad core on the Moto G. So we still got the front stereo speakers here. 
Uh, we got our front facing camera on the right side, on, on the right side of the device. We got our volume bars and on our on off button here, which both are nicely uh, to reach here and which don't move, which don't shake, which make no noises. This is nice. Build quality looks really fine. So let's get rid of the back cover sticker here, uh, which reminds you to, to make sure if you open the back cover, make sure it's fit perfectly back on again, because otherwise you don't get the water resistance here. So the back cover feels strange. Maybe the camera gets this, but this is a rough back cover. You, got, you can feel it. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's not smooth. It's not, it's not a smooth back cover. It's a rough back cover. We got some structure on it, which feels definitely differently than, than the two second generation Moto. And both devices, we got nearly the same measurements. The new one is a little bit heavier, but I guess you can't feel this one. And the Motorola logo got again a little bit smaller, but you still can feel it, or at least you can have something where you can put your finger in. Uh, what I don't like, I guess, is the, you, the whole phone is black. Black front, black sides, silver buttons, okay, black back cover, but then we got this gray thingy here, and we got, uh, I guess, dual flash here, which is nice, but the gray design here, yes, you can get your phone with a motor maker, you can get this in nice colors, you can create your own style, but for this you have to pay 20 euros more, which I assume is not a bad price. For 20 euros you can get your own design, you can get another back cover color, back cover color, you can get another color for this device part here, and you can engrave the smartphone. This is definitely nice. For 20 euros this is nice, but 20 euros here in Germany more means 250 euros for the basic model, which is definitely too high. There are enough other phones which get you, give you more specs, better hardware for a lower price. So this is it. First instructions, first impressions, really nice. And the second video we will do is, of course, boot the device up, insert a micro SIM card, uh, get to know the device, play around with, check out the display, see how much free storage we got on this 8 gigabyte version, and of course, check out the cameras. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you all in the next video. Bye.